Scott here, and today I'm going to be sharing some more great lower back exercises with you. And all that you're going to need is a stability ball. These exercises helped me out a great deal about 10 or 12 years ago when I was experiencing some lower back pain and some sciatic problems. Now the first thing that I'm going to want you to do when you get on the stability ball is just loosen up your hips, loosen up the lower back. And I want you to start off just rocking side to side on the ball. Just getting comfortable with it, loosening up your hips, do it for about 20 seconds. Then you go front to back for another 10, 15, 20 seconds just to get yourself loosened up and then rotating your hips clockwise and counterclockwise on the ball. This is a nice little easy warm up, get blood flowing to your hip area, lower back area and get you comfortable on the ball. The first exercise that I want you to do is marching on the ball. It's going to be opposite arm, opposite leg and just a nice slow controlled movement. I want you to focus on keeping your upper body nice and straight. To make this exercise more challenging as you advance with this, you want to really stimulate your nervous system, which I mean this is the area we're really trying to work your nervous system uh, in the core of your body. I want you to close your eyes. It's going to be a lot more difficult, it's going to require a lot more focus, a lot more nerves going on here. All right, so that's the first exercise. Next, a little easier, it's a leg extension. Hands can stay on your, on your waist or down on your thighs or down on your side. <coughs> and you're just going to kick one leg up at a time. Once again, keeping your upper body nice and straight, trying to keep yourself centered on the ball. And again, to make this more challenging, I want you to close your eyes. Don't do this right away. <laughs> and if you do do this, you'll want to have like a desk close by just in case you can grab on to if you're feeling a little uncomfortable. But it really, uh, I mean, closing your eyes can have a big impact on these exercises and improving your lower back. <coughs> the next exercise, it's a, it's a position that we get in on the ball when we're doing a lot of our, our exercises, like a dumbbell chest press or lying tricep extension or dumbbell flies. It's a matter of just sitting nice and upright on the ball and then one foot at a time walking yourself out until your body is nice and parallel with the ground, knees are at a 90 degree angle and your head is resting comfortably on the ball and then walking yourself up. So nice and slow controlled movement, got my dumbbells in the way, <laughs> lots of action going on behind the door there and then going at it again. So you just walk yourself out nice and controlled, get your body nice and parallel with the ground, walk yourself back up. And once again, to make this exercise more challenging, I want you to try it with your eyes closed. So walking out, again, you'll be amazed at the balance that's required. Just from closing your eyes, it makes such a big difference in the exercise. You can have your hands out to the side, start to walk yourself up. And out. And you can do that about 10 times. 10 times with your eyes open, 10 times with your eyes closed. That's three simple little exercises. I'll be back with some more great lower back exercises very soon since I'm going to get some great feedback from all of you letting you know how the previous lower back exercises have uh, had a very positive impact on you. Thanks a lot. Have yourself a great day. Talk to you soon.